one night I get this phone call and I didn't realize that Tim should have already been home. It was about 10 to 10 in the evening. Tim worked till nine o'clock. He should have been home by 9.30. And it was the hospital calling, saying that my son had been in a serious accident and that I needed to come to the hospital. And um, the first words out of my mouth was, is he dead? Tim was an extremely strong-willed, rambunctious child. He wanted to try and do everything. He was energetic, fun-loving, sweet, compassionate. He just enjoyed everything he did, and he enjoyed his friends, and he enjoyed life. When Tim started to first learn how to drive, I told him, you know, the rules as to what he needed to do to get a license. I wanted to make sure that he took driving seriously and uh, that this just wasn't a rite of passage. So Tim ended up getting two jobs, trying to get enough money to pay for his car insurance in the car. And so Tim didn't even get his driver's license until he was three months away from turning 18. The railroad crossing was uh, a well-known place where kids could get their cars going airborne. So my son um, went over those tracks about 70 miles an hour, flew airborne, hit down, bounced up, hit the ground again, and then the wheels caught the curb and it just whipped the car around the telephone pole. And he ended up in a coma for three and a half months before he actually passed away. Despite all of the things that we had done, all the actions that we had taken to get Tim his, uh, ready for his, the responsibility of having a driver's license, he still made a poor decision and got into this horrific accident. And, you know, he paid for their choice with his life. Since Tim's passing, I learned that things that are most common in crashes for teens is uh, night driving, speeding, and inexperience which all three seem to have been part of Tim's accident. And that it is actually the first year of driving that is the most critical and most dangerous for a, a new driver. Um, not from 16 to 17, and just because I waited that extra year for my son to get his license, that he was going to be more mature and more ready. You know, kids are gonna be kids, and um, you can't stop that, but you can do everything in your power to make sure they're responsible, making sure that they're ready. Um, this is life and death. And despite all those people who are out there and can make those dumb decisions and get away with it, there are going to be those who make those lapse in judgment decisions and they're not gonna get away with it. And you just don't want it to be your kid.